And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go, 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 go. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I am your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where you can ask questions of a former idiot to help you either avoid or get over or get through or get around or get whatever your idiocy. Um, Hope you liked the new intro for those of you that are watching on YouTube. Those of you that are listening on iTunes or SoundCloud, go check out the the YouTube version of this, my vlog, and uh, check out the new stuff. I'm trying to uh, spice up the beginning just a little bit and maybe give you kind of a little insight into kind of what goes on uh, in my life for those of you that aren't following me on Snapchat or Twitter or Instagram and stuff. So just something a little different, something, you know, getting into the whole video editing thing and kind of messing around with that. So hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, I am excited about this question because it has to do with health and nutrition. And I am a huge advocate for healthy eating and healthy living. I think that you should set up a lifestyle and don't set up diets and don't set up short-term goals and stuff. Just set up a lifestyle. If you have a healthy lifestyle, you don't have to worry about that diet. You don't have to worry about those short-term goals because you'll already be there. You feel good. You feel better. Your brain works better. Your body works better. It's kind of a no-brainer. But uh, today's question is for people who are trying to figure it out. And it's, it is a learning process. So if you... Um, if this question fits you, hopefully this will answer your question. So the question is, I still work out. I work out, but why am I still fat? And I can pretty much guarantee the answer is in 90% of all of these issues, all of the people that are having these issues is because your diet sucks. Because you can't outwork a bad diet. I mean, you could have guys that are... Um, you know, professional basketball players, professional football players, and these dudes, I mean, talk about working out. You don't work out much harder than being a professional athlete, and you'll still get fat dudes out there, guys that have to lose weight to uh, in the training camp, guys that are that are um, having problems getting through the season because they're overweight. Um, you can't outwork it. So you can you can work out your butt off and, and do all this stuff uh, in the gym, but if you eat crappy, it's, it's not going to um, it's not going to work out. So there's a lot of misconceptions with with working out and and how to work out and how it affects your diet. Uh, One of the misconceptions is that uh, people like to use their working out to balance their diet out. And and that does work in some cases, but it depends on what you're eating. Like if you you go and work out, let's say you work out like an hour a day, six days a week. I mean, that's awesome, but you can't go and eat nachos and stuff every night and drink like three or four beers every night and, you know, have a bottle of wine and eat potatoes and go out to eat. I mean, you, you'll, you'll be fat. And I'm all for people being comfortable in their bodies and people being comfortable with who they are. But you have to be honest with the fact that overweight is unhealthy. And you, you know, everybody, oh, well, I was big boned or I'm born this way or I'm just thick or whatever. Being overweight's not healthy. So those numbers that they give you when you go to the doctor, like what your ideal weight should be, that's really what your ideal weight should be. And I know it's kind of hard because you're 40 pounds over that or you're 50 pounds over that or you're 150 pounds over that, but that's really the weight you should be. And you're not going to get there by working out. So those of you that are dreading going to the gym, um, that's good news. You don't have to, you, you really can just change your diet and lose a ton of that weight, which is another misconception is that you need to work out hard to lose weight depending on what your your uh body fat percentage is and depending on how overweight you are i mean even if you're not that overweight if you radically change your diet if you really cut out all the the garbage and the crap and and the excess carbs and everything you uh you'll lose weight whether you work out or not now i highly recommend working out just because it's it's um you know, better for your body as a whole, but you can lose weight just with diet. So if you feel like too lazy to go to the gym, good news. You just can eat, eat well and eat better and stop going to McDonald's and stop eating crap and, uh, and lose weight. Um, your body was designed to burn fat and use fat as fuel and 
not carry around a whole bunch of excess fat. And what people do with their diets is they slam it full of sugar and all this crap. And their body is spending the whole day trying to break down all that sugar. Because if you have any sugar in your system, you're not going to be running off of fat. And, you know, you have just that one little this or that one little that. Well, that shuts down your fat burning for, you know, eight hours, 12 hours, 20 hours. And that could be time spent where you're burning fat, where you're using fat as, as, as your fuel source and getting kind of this excess weight off of, um, people like to, um, it's something that I seen a lot and I've seen a lot since high school is people go, Oh, I just worked out. So I'm going to go eat a bunch of crap. And yet technically your body is, is able to process sugars and process, you know, the garbage food better right after a workout. But then keep in mind that that's also when your body is, is looking for replenishment that's looking, that's, that's your refuel. So if you go, Oh, I just worked out really hard. I'm going to go get McDonald's. Okay. Technically the McDonald's isn't going to hit you as hard as it would if you did it like before a workout, but that's what your muscles are repairing off of is God knows what kind of meat and crappy fries and, and grease and oils and all kinds of weird crap that you don't even know what you know, what it really is. And that's what your body is, is, uh, recovering with. So be smart about it. Like don't, don't refuel your body with, with crap, refuel it with, with good food. Um, uh, a thing I see a lot is people give themselves like almost like mini celebrations. They, they, they feel they deserve it too much and you end up deserving it. Like if you don't really watch what you're doing, you end up deserving it too much. Oh, I had a rough day. I deserve this candy bar. Or I had a rough day. I deserve, I just want a bowl of ice cream. I'm so stressed out. And oh, I do. And you realize that you you do that like once a day, sometimes twice a day. Some people do three times a day. Oh, it's only this. Oh, it's only that. And all that stuff really adds up because really, your body takes. You have to get the sugar out of your system before you can burn fat. So as soon as you put that just one thing once a day, your fat uh, burning capabilities are completely shut down like gone so that one little cookie or that one little whatever little you know one little ice cream cone or that one little this will shut down your fat burning so you got to think about that if you're in a position where you are bigger than you want to be and bigger than you think you should be because you you feel like you're putting in some some work in the gym so just stop eating stop eating the sugar seriously stop giving yourselves those little excuses to to eat this and eat that and uh, the last really big one is that uh, the types of calories really do matter. Now, just because you have something uh, that you bought at the store that says 100 calories, that's a hell of a lot worse for you. Some little candy bar that's only 100 calories is a hell of a lot worse for you than like 100 calories of an apple or 100 calories of, you know, like a mixed green salad. Like it's a it's a huge difference. So don't don't. Um, don't fool yourself into thinking that, you know, all calories are created equal because they are not. They don't break down in your body the same. Your body won't react to them the same. Your um, your fat burning will completely depends on what you eat. So if you eat 100 calories of sugar and you, you're you not going to be burning fat for, for 12 hours, 20 hours, depending on how much sugar it is, like a day. So eat the apple eat the almonds, eat the healthy 100 calories and not the crap 100 calories. Um, where I wanted to kind of break down and give you like where people really, where I see people really messing up when it comes to when it comes to what they eat during the different times of the day. During breakfast, cereal, bagels, muffins, pastries, donuts, sugar in your coffee, fake sugar in your coffee, all that stuff, especially at the beginning of the day. Like the beginning of the day is when your body breaks down sugar the absolute worst. So think of it like if you only eat sugar one time a day, the morning is the worst time. That will make you the fattest out of all the other times during the day. That's the worst time to eat it. So you start out your day with a bagel or a muffin or an English muffin or a, God forbid, a donut or a pastry and the sugar and just a little bit of sugar in your coffee all day, fat burning shut down. Just think of it that way. It's like you eat that stuff. It's like the off switch to your fat burning. So you have to analyze what you're eating and, and figure it out because I'm not, I can't see you, but think of it that way. Uh, cereal, bagels, muffins, coffee with, with sugar, 
off switch for fat burning. Uh, at lunchtime, sandwiches, you're in a hurry, fast food, just something quick, something out of like a vending machine. It's, it's doing the same thing. So you're, you're sitting all day and you get up and you're like, oh, I'm just going to eat something real quick. And I'll just, oh, it's just, it's just one little this. It's just one little that. Those are the things that add up. Those are the things that you really catch yourself doing every day, multiple times a week, hopefully not multiple times a day, but it's those little things. So, so pack your lunch with, with healthy foods. I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys the healthy foods to eat in just a second. Um, snacks, you have that long period in between lunch and dinner. You're starving. You got to stay at the office a little too long. You got, you, you want to make it to the gym. You got to go to, you know, your kid's baseball practice or you got to do whatever. So what people do is they just grab something quick and easy and just for a rule of thumb for, for me, if it's wrapped, if you bought it at the store in a box and there's 12 to a box, it's probably garbage. I don't care what it says on the box. Are, are there going to be exceptions to the rule? Absolutely. Are those exceptions to the rule going to be from like AM, PM or Safeway or Vons? No, they're not. If it's in a box and it's prepackaged and it says healthy this and healthy that and healthy grains and all this stuff, it's crap. It's full of sugar. It's full of other crap that's going to break down into sugar. It's full of fake stuff. Just don't eat it. Take the healthy snacks and stuff with you. Um, dinner, people make mistakes. They, they, people drink too much. People have, you know, instead of one drink, they have three drinks or four drinks. They have, you know, three or four beers, three or four glasses of wine. That all breaks down into sugar. It all slows down your metabolism. So be real careful with the alcohol consumption. Um, people eat a lot of pasta. A lot of people I talk to, oh, what do you like to eat for dinner? Oh, I love pasta. You got to cut the pasta out. I mean, as uh, being an Italian, I hate to say that, but pasta is just, it is a huge amount of sugar once it finally breaks down into your system and it shuts everything down. I mean, you eat pasta for dinner, you're not burning fat tomorrow. So it's just as, as crappy as that sounds. Um, one alternative that I use, um, and it sounded gross at first, but it really works is spaghetti squash. And it's, you know, obviously get it in the fall when it's, when it's, uh, squash season and stuff so you're not spending like 12 bucks for one but spaghetti squash put it in the oven for like a cut it in half olive oil put it in the oven face down for for like an hour you scrape it out and eat it and it's it's close enough it's it's definitely it's not pasta but it's it's definitely close enough so that's a really really good healthy alternative um and then also with dinner desserts people go oh well it's just a little dessert and granted if you're going to eat crap the end of the day is the best time to do it. That's when your body temperature is the highest. That's when you're going to process it the best. But just because you can process it the best doesn't mean you should do it. You're trying to lose weight. You're trying to be healthy. Like being overweight causes a lot of issues. Issues on your on your on your guts. Issues on your 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 organs, your joints, your back, your hips, your ankles, your every. I mean, being overweight is not a good thing. Be comfortable with yourself. Love yourself. Love your body, all that stuff. But you have to be honest with yourself. Being overweight is not healthy. And this is about this, my whole podcast and my whole vlog is about uh, feeling good and being, uh, being healthy because healthy means healthy body, healthy mind, healthy mind, healthy body. That's, that's what we're going for here. Um, so those little things like desserts and everything. So this is, there's common, there's common uh, um, missteps by a lot of people. So if you're one of these people eating some of this stuff that I just mentioned, please don't feel bad. Just recognize what it is you're eating. And also I'm going to put this out there and, and this is something that happens regularly just in my daily life with people I I interact with. If you have a question about anything that you're eating and you want to know if it's good or bad, man, seriously, just tweet at me, snap me, whatever, Facebook, whatever you hit, hit me up on this. Um, you can shoot me and I can look at it and tell you right away, hey, this is crap, this is good, this is this is bad, this is okay, you know, may want to avoid this, may want to avoid that. Just make it easy on yourself. Just hit me up and, and we can take care of it. Um, so the things that you should stick with, these are the things that you should eat. And it's not, you're going to have to get yourself in the mindset that food is not, um, it's better to be healthy than eat food that you think tastes good. And I promise you, once you cut out the crap food and you start focusing on the good food, you can take all the things that I'm going to mention here. And these are like, this is like the high quality food, the food that really tastes good. Not the food that's 
covered in salt and covered in sugar to hide the fact. This is food that's really good, really good for you, tastes delicious. This is like fine dining type food. And you have to, you know, you're going to have to cook or go to the right restaurants and stuff in order in order to get it. But the quality of food, I promise you, once you start eating this stuff, the quality of the food is going to turn you away from eating like the McDonald's and the and the Burger King and the Taco Bell and all that other just horse crap food. So stick with, again, if you've listened to the other podcasts and stuff, you've heard this before, you stick with one, just lots of veggies. Eat a ton of vegetables and put olive oil on them. Just make it easy on yourself. Everybody says healthy fats, healthy oils, olive oil. Olive oil is healthy. Just stick with that. Um, leafy greens, salads, put greens and everything, kale, make smoothies, put cinnamon in it to make it, to make it taste a little bit better, put avocado in it to help cut some of the, some of the harshness of, of some of the greens, but lots of vegetables, lots of leafy greens, use the healthy fats, use the healthy oils like olive oil, avocado oil. Um, I'm sure there's others, no canola oil, no vegetable oil, all that crap is, well, it's just crap. Um, grass fed meats. I know some places in the country are easier to find than others, but I think it's becoming popular enough that if you go online and look for grass fed grass fed meats, you can at least find one that can send it to you. Are is it expensive? Yeah, it's expensive, but you have to go and look at your look at your budget, look at how you break down food and maybe instead of eating I don't know, maybe you're eating steak twice a week. So instead of maybe twice a week you eat steak once a week. And so that cuts that uh, keeps the cost about the same, but then you're eating healthy meats and you, and you find, you know, you have other nights out of the week where you're just, you're adjusting your food to fit what's, what's going to be good for you. And if that means cutting down on steak, then it means cutting down on steak. And it's okay because, in the, because you know, you're doing yourself a favor. You know that you're making your body healthier. So grass fed meats, healthy oils and healthy fats, uh, lots of veggies. Um, if you're going to eat fruit, eat the low sugar fruit, eat like berries, raspberries, uh, boysenberries, blueberries. Um, don't, don't drink fruit juice, please. That's a, I don't know. I should have said that earlier, but just because it says it's, it's fruit, but it's not good for you. Cause what happens is, and this is why juicing too. So if you're a juicer, be really careful because when you strip all the fiber from the fruit, what that means is usually what happens is you have the fiber and the sugar and the, from the fruit all going into your in your system at the same time, and you know you may have like 30, 35 grams of sugar with the with the fruit depending on what you're eating, but because of the fiber, it's 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 like a slow um, uh, it slowly gets into your system. What happens is when you strip that, when you strip all the fiber away and it's just the juice, you have 30, 40, 50, 60 grams of sugar hitting your system all at one time. So that's like just I mean, it's like sticking a, you know, it's eating a, it's eating a candy bar is really what it is. And um, if you're going to put fruit in your smoothies, make sure it's a, I guess, make sure it's a smoothie and not, not juicing and make sure it's the lower sugar fruits and not the mangoes and the, the, the really ripe bananas and, and pineapple and stuff like that. And those are, those are awesome. Those are great. Save them for your cheat day. Save them for your one cheat day that you can, that you do a week. Um, but when you do that every day, there's a ton of sugar in it. And, and even though you're eating a good thing, it's, it's still going to produce the same result, which is stopping your body from burning fat. Um, so we have leafy green vegetables, lots of vegetables, healthy oils and fats, grass fed meats, lower sugar fruits. Um, and then something to kind of fill in the protein, um, Tim Ferriss calls it the slow carbs, black beans, legumes, lentils, stuff like that all mixed up with the other stuff. And keep in mind, like this gives you, you go, oh, it's kind of boring sounding, but keep in mind, you have all the spices available. You have, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, cilantros and parsleys and, and whatever other, um, herbs and stuff you want to work with. So this is, this will kind of help you with your, with your creativity of, of, uh, coming up with, um, some new recipes and one cheat day a week. That's it. Just one, one day, seven days, one of them a cheat day. Then you don't have another one for another seven days. And on that one day, go to town, eat all the crap. And I, I guarantee when you stay with, and you start doing this diet, you're going to have your cheat days, but those things that you eat, you're going to want higher quality stuff. The stuff that tasted good before 
It's not going to taste as good. You're going to be able to taste the garbage because you're going to be eating so so well. But that one day, what it allows it to do is it allows you to, to your body to keep the enzymes basically to break down the sugar and break down the garbage food. Because what people some people do is they go so long without eating that stuff that when they do get it into their system, and it's going to happen eventually. Eventually, you're going to have a piece of cake or something. Uh, what happens is your body doesn't have the enzymes to break it down, and it ends up flushing into your system in the worst possible way, like in the in the you might as well be eating sugar and stuff all day and it just it messes up your system. So one cheat day, keep the enzymes. The rest of the week, just eat healthy. And I guarantee whether you're working out hard or not, if you start eating healthy, you start you you implement this diet and cut out all that other crap, I guarantee you you're gonna drop weight, whether you're working out or not. And again, I mean it if you if you have any questions about what you're eating or your diet or anything, I have people hit me up all the time on Snapchat and, and all the, they'll DM me on, on Twitter and ask me questions about different foods and stuff. And I'm more than happy to just shoot, shoot a, uh, shoot a response back out to you. So please don't hesitate in doing that. If you, uh, if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, it can be an extension of this. It can be an extension of the other, the other episodes that we've done so far, or it could be something totally different. Um, hit me up on Snapchat, find me on Twitter, and I look forward to, uh, to hearing from you. Hope you're having a good week. Talk to you soon. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what?